All right, this is discussion 5A. We will be going over proper warm up and stretching protocols for a college age sprint squad. Um, the proper warm up is vital for uh, sprinters um, to get their muscles, joints, and cardiovascular system ready for the high intensity um, aspect of sprinting. This program will focus on dynamic stretches and drills that can activate those key muscle groups and help improve flexibility as well as neuromuscular coordination. The warm-up routine will start off with uh, a five-minute jog, light jogging just to increase the heart rate and blood flow and to warm the muscles up as we prepare for higher intensity movements. The next step in our warm-up routine is the dynamic stretching session that will take about seven to 10 minutes. And we'll start off with leg swings, uh, forward and sideways, um, opening up those hip flexors um, and adductors. We'll go 10 on each leg, um, focusing on proper form and, and fluidity in the movement. The next uh, exercise is going to be arm circles. We're going to go back uh, forward and backwards just for shoulder mobility. Um, 10 on each side should be sufficient. Following that, we'll go high knees, focusing on hip flexor activation, loosening up those hips a little bit more as well as the knees and the ankles. Uh, next, we will go to uh, butt kicks, which focus on hamstring flexibility. We'll do a set. You can either do them in place like the video or up and down a track. Next, we're going to go to walking lunges to activate glutes and stretch those hip flexors out some more, focusing on good form, core activation. And from there, we're going to move on to the sprint drills. This will be five to seven minutes. We will start off with a skips to promote the explosive knee drive. The left video shows that. We'll do three sets of those, followed by B skips for um, to emphasize that quick foot turnover. We will also do three sets of those. The next drill is going to be the just rapid uh, high knees. So really focusing on explosive movements, run, driving those knees up. And then finally, we'll finish off with a, an acceleration run on the right, the last video, gradually accelerating over a period of 20 meters. We'll do three sets of those. Um, making sure we focus on proper sprint mechanics. Ideally, I, wa I would like to, a longer track, but all I had was that distance. So I would like 30 meters if possible. Um, as far as adaptations for a different type of team, looking at a high school swim team, the program for the warm up would be adjusted to be more swim specific. Um, doing arm circles and dynamic arm swings that mimic swim strokes will be important. Also, some scapular mobility exercise to get those shoulders ready for the, the demands of swimming. Um, for the warm up, to continue the warm up, will include water based warm ups, um, water jogging, and dynamic movements in the pool. And we can also focus on swim specific drills that focus on technique. Core activation through all these exercises is vital for the swim team. Um, the sprint drills will be adjusted to simulate swimming movements, flutter kicks or dolphin kicks um, would can be used. And then we will make sure we prioritize dynamic stretches that enhance flexibility in the shoulders, hips and ankles 
um, to improve or help with uh, range of motion in swimming.